Hey, this is Chris with vidsociety.com, and in this video, I'm going to do a little bit of a different review of a product. It's called Instant Puzzle Generator. And the reason I'm doing a review on this product is because it works very well. It's a very solid product. It's probably something that not everyone's going to be interested in, but it does work very well. And if you do any kind of uh, selling of ebooks or anything on like Amazon or through the Kindle, then you may really be interested in this as an alternate source of income or even a new source of income if it's something that you've been thinking about trying. So this is the dashboard of Instant Puzzle Generator. It's a super easy tool to use and basically it builds out word search puzzles for you and it does it very fast and it creates them very neatly. So under this video will be a link that will take you to the sales page and you'll also find details about this product under this video in the description box. Uh, there'll be the pricing details, the upsells, and also some extra bonuses you can pick up, which are some done for you puzzles you can get if you happen to buy this through my link. So this is the dashboard and really there's not much to this product. So you have some training here that you can go over. I'm gonna show you almost everything that you can do right now in this video. And basically all you have to do is click on word search and you're gonna come here and you wanna click on create a puzzle and you're gonna give it a name. So with Halloween coming up, let's just do something on Halloween and click create. So what you can do here is after you create your campaign, you wanna click on view and you're gonna upload a list of keywords. So I've already got a list of Halloween keywords. I'm gonna go ahead and select those and you can choose between CSV and text files. Click open and in just a matter of seconds, it loads the file and creates these puzzles for you. Now, I'm gonna scroll down here and show you some of what this does and the options you have with this. So with this puzzle number one, you can see where it actually has a title and a little bit of a description, whereas these other ones just has a puzzle number, one, two, or three. So everything is completely editable. You can edit the title, you can edit a custom description, uh, or you can just leave it as a default, which will just show us puzzle one, two, three, four, how many ever it creates. So how many puzzles it creates is based on how many keywords is in your text file or your CSV file. So if I come up here and click on edit, you're gonna see my keyword list. And after about 10 keywords, I have a space. So what that space does is separates puzzle one from puzzle two, from puzzle three and four and so on. So if there weren't no spaces in this keyword list, then it would just create one great big puzzle. Now you can see here how I have Halloween puzzle number one, and you do that by putting in title and then your colon here and then uh, Halloween puzzle number one. And then for your description, if you want that, you would put in DESC and then don't get spooked out or whatever you want that to say, and that's what will show up. So I only done this for the first puzzle though, but you can edit all of them like that if you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Okay, so um, for editing this, each box or each puzzle has options. So for each puzzle, you can edit them individually, or you can edit all of them using the options over here. So if you wanna change, uh, let's just go over here into global settings. I'll go ahead and click on settings. And these are the same settings that you're gonna find if you go over here and click on the little cog icon for the individual puzzles. But you can change the fonts, you can change the sizes of the titles, the description of the puzzle, the puzzle grid size, the puzzle clues. So if we scroll down here, you'll see these are the clues down here and we can change these. We can just put on the bottom if we want. It just separates them by comma, or you can do uh, by two, two columns, three columns, four columns, however you wanna have it set up. You can also add borders. So if we click on external border, it's gonna put a border around the outside. And then if you click on internal grid lines, it creates boxes for all the letters. I usually don't do that, so I'm just gonna turn those off. And then down here you have options for the solution settings. So the solution settings are obviously where it's gonna show you the solutions for each puzzle. Uh, and you can come down here and you can edit the colors of everything, uh, the, the border, the filler, the letters, the descriptions, titles, everything can be edited here. So what we can do is if we click this button here, what this is gonna do is show the solutions for each puzzle. So if I scroll down, you're gonna see that there are six puzzles and that's it. If we click this button, 
it's now going to show us all the solutions for each puzzle. So I'm going to go ahead and untick that. So once you have all your puzzles done and ready, you can click on download and it gives you an option of downloading it in these different file formats. Now I do have the pro version which also allows me to download it in PowerPoint so I can further customize them if I want to. I'm just going to do a PDF document. You can select the page trims to different sizes. You can select how it's numbered. Each page is numbered. I'm just going to do say page, I'll just do like one of 24. It just shows you the, how many ever pages there are of the total number of pages and then the number of solutions per page. So this is going to show you uh, the solutions of each puzzle and it's going to put four of them on one page which will save you uh, pages instead of doing like one per page and I'll, I'll show you what that is here in a minute. So let's go ahead and download it and I'll open it. Okay it's downloading and let's open it. Okay so here's puzzle number one. You can see down here where we have one of eight, two, three, four, five, and six and then after that we're going to have four solutions per page so this is where you can save a lot on your pages by adding uh, four of these per page or even if you want to do two per page or how many ever you want to I think four is plenty when you print it off it looks really good just like this and so that's it for this tool it's it's basically a uh, instant puzzle generator that's that's what it is it does it very well and every time I've used it, it has worked out perfect. So um, some of you may want to use this. Maybe you can um, add these to your website to bring people back, offer these free on your website occasionally, tell them to you know, keep coming back to my site and get free puzzles for it. Uh, you can offer these as maybe bonuses depending on the types of products you're promoting or even selling. Or you could even create these puzzle books yourself and try to sell them on Amazon. So there's all different ways you can use this product. Uh, but it does work very well, which is why I wanted to do this review on it. If you guys are interested, I'll put the link below this video as well as the details about the product, the pricing, the upsells, and bonuses you can get if you buy it through my link. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll notify you when I do more reviews of other products. Thanks.